After arrest and before trial comes jail. All suspects are innocent until proven guilty in a court of law. Another night in the streets, another night in this hell. I've been kicking and tripping, the cops just threw me in jail. Got my fingers in ink, they got my head on the lights. Dear Lord, please get me out of this jail tonight. Just get me out, just get me out. I've been with Clark County Detention Center for six years. I worked up in the towers when I first started working here, and it was a good job. However, it was a little slow. I transferred down to booking, and I haven't looked back. Of five mail, ETA of five minutes. Right now we have a call for a code 5 mail that's coming in. That just means that an inmate is coming in either physically resisting or combative. He came in on a DV, but he was able to be talked down and he chose to walk in, which is definitely a better way that saves us from the extra work. Hopefully he can remain calm. If he doesn't, then he'll end up in the side cell. Basically, he got arrested for uh, battery domestic violence, assault with deadly weapon, uh, intimidating the PO, and uh, malicious destruction of county property. He decided to kick out our rear window of our patrol car. So that's why he's here. That's why he's down here. Thank you so much. It's, it's too tight, man. Come on. Taking it off, sir. He's very up and down, and that's actually really common for Code Fives that come in, and they choose to walk in, but then any little thing can escalate the situation, and their mood can change. <laughs> See, I just, I really don't think he's going to make it. He will end up in a side cell because we can't have this kind of attitude out here in pre-arrest where the other inmates can see. I respect you, you respect me. Once inside the side, so we're going to do another pat search on him to make sure we didn't miss anything from the first time. He's going to stay in here until he can sober up, cool down, and he's getting very upset. However, we need him to hold still until we can leave safely. And now that he's uh, secured in the side, so I'm sure he'll talk and yell a little bit. If he continues with the head slamming, he'll have to be removed and taken up to isolation. But we'll, that's definitely what we're going to do here. And the officer's job is to monitor him while he's in the side cell. Hey, Sergeant Geller, he's banging his head pretty bad. Chill out. I respect, respect me. I respect you. Huh. Too much liquor, too much drugs. Man, that, that, that's hey. nothing but respect. Give me her. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. That's not respect. Oh, Almost threw up in my mouth a little bit. I'm OK, though. You talk about respect, and then you talk like that to other female officers. That ain't respect. How would you like it if it was your daughter, huh? What would you do if some guy got your daughter's face and licked his tongue like he's some animal? You don't talk to my officer like that. Understood? Understood. He's all talk. You're forgiven. <laughs> Tomorrow, he'll be a totally different guy. Stand right here on the mat. Do you have to walk for me? Get your feet up. Oh, yeah. So you know that, well, he's transsexual. Oh, OK. So, so where is? That's for you. <laughs> where were you at tonight? I was at the commercial center. Oh, walking? Oh. No, standing, actually. Oh, yeah. Was there a party? We went to a club or something? Yeah. Yeah? Okay, sir. Uh, I said it was going to You said you were at a, a club tonight? Mm -hmm. So how come you're here, though? What happened? Somebody picked me up and then trapped me. They wanted to pay you for sexual favors? Yeah, I told him I would pay to clean, to wash the dishes, to oh, clean his house. Oh, that's just being silly. We both know what that's about. Well, they're going to pay one way or another. Either they're going to pay up front, they're going to pay, you know, by dinner and gift and flowers mm -hmm. to get it. But 
they always gonna end up paying at the end, so. All right, he's gonna change you out, okay? Industrial. Okay. The male officer's gonna go in with him and just verify whether he's a male or female, and that way it helps us to segregate him. And again, that's just for his safety. Can I ask you personal questions? Do you of mind? Of course. Okay. Yeah. How long have you been transgender? Yeah. Well, I've been transgender all my life, but how long have I been living as That's a woman? That's what I'm asking you, absolutely. About eight yeah. years. Eight years? Yeah. Okay. Has it been harder for you, or of you just... Of course it's hard, you know. People discriminate against, you know. Just because they don't understand it and it's different, you know, they have to... They don't understand it, so they get scared, so they, you know... Yeah. They don't like it. Do you find uh, people more accepting here in Vegas or back in California? No, in Vegas, people just come here to... Uh, Terrorize the town for the weekend, break everything, they don't trash care, everything, right? and they go back home. Like, you know, oh, I'm a good person, you know? Have a seat. Relax. The tattoo on your right arm, what is that about? That's a green beret. Why? Why? What does that mean to you? What does that mean to me? Yeah, what's the meaning behind it? Because I was in the green beret. Really? Yeah. How long ago? 25, oh my god, how old am I now? 28 years ago. How long were you in there for? Five years. Really? You see, what a turn up. <laughs> oh, you got a sense of humor about it. Well, when you look like me, you have to. I guess. Otherwise, you have a tough life. You're right, it's a better attitude to have. Let's go into the next room. I'm gonna have you have a seat in the back row on the left hand side. Mel's over there in the back row. You can have it in the very last chair. If you need something, you raise your hand, like water, restrooms, phones. Good luck to you, Kelly. Yeah, it's just, he's got a great sense of humor about the whole thing, though, but he's right. I mean, he's got a tough life, so you might as well laugh about it. But he'll go through this process, get out of here, and hopefully a better life for him. When the inmate comes in, we like to size them up, we'll ask them questions, we'll give them basic commands, and that'll let us know if they're a yes or a no inmate, because we need to be able to keep order in here once they come into our facility. You know, if somebody starts getting out of hand and we don't do something about it, well, then it starts a chain reaction with everybody else. Oh, yeah. Here, sit there. No, let me sit there. No, you don't get a choice. The girls sit oh, back here. Oh, come on. Oh, just sit down. Why Don't are you be nasty. I'm not yes. being nasty yes, to you. Yes, you are. Yes, you are. Okay. Yes, you are. I'm nasty yes, to you because you have to sit in the back and you can't sit in the front. You're, nice. you're being extremely rude, though. So apparently she ran into a curb. They had her on camera, and she cleverly gets out of the driver's seat, goes around to the passenger seat, thinking that would keep her from getting a DUI. Unfortunately, no, she failed our sobriety test in the uh, open container of... Manhattan was in there. So. so this is her second one this year. Second one this year. And then one back in 94. Yes. <laughs> so how fast were you driving when you hit the curb? I didn't really know I hit the curb. Oh, you didn't? No. And what is this we're doing? Pardon me? It's called a blood draw. For what this reason? This is what I read you in the car. Okay. Yeah, you read you your rights, and now you're getting blood draw because you, you were you drinking and driving. Consent? Uh, no, I wasn't drinking and driving. Okay. The rim is broken. The tire is flattened, and the rim is broken. You hit it pretty hard. No. Yeah, actually, it is. You had to hit something pretty hard to do that. Okay. Gotcha. All right, Santa for me, ma'am. Turn your body to the right, face that direction. It's like I'm taking off my underwear. Do you ask the men to take off their underwear? Well, if they're wearing well, stockings, yes. No, do you ask them to take off their underwear? No, In jail, you have to no take your underwear. stockings well, off. But they cost $5, they? So I'm not going to just leave them back there. Let's come on over here and have a seat. I have never done this before. Bobby, no. Yeah, you were just here in March. I don't this care. is the same thing. I didn't show you my belly button you before. Go. What the hell? You're disgusting. You know that? You are, you're a disgusting woman. Well, Thank Bobby, you. I, I heard understand words. you're okay. angry, but you don't got to take your anger out on the officers that are here. I do when they are being mean to me. And she is being mean to me. No, she's not. She's being mean to me. Yeah. 
Put your hands behind your back. <clears throat> now we're going to go ahead and isolate you in a side cell. Wait from everybody else because the officers Great. really don't need your uh, disrespectful Terrible. comments. Yeah. And, uh, Listen, can I ask you all something? That time's over. Can I ask you all Go ahead and lay her down on the bunk there. There you go. Ow! 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 Relax. And stay right there. Don't move until the door shuts. I hope you're all proud. Just trying to finish it up. As soon as we started talking about uh, taking off the pantyhose, that's when she really lost it and refused to cooperate. Is it your first time getting a DUI? Six years ago, Six years ago in California? Put your hands on top of your head. So you uh, you were running away from your husband and get, to get away from him because you said was he did you say he was hitting you? He hit you. I barely heard two times. Has he ever gone to jail for that? Yeah. All the way down to the end, sit in the first seat. She tells us she's been drinking all night. She uh, says that her and her husband had an argument and this is the third time she's been in jail. And uh, she's been arrested for domestic violence several times. Husband's been twice. So it's Does she had her kids in the car and they weren't in their seatbelts? No, none of them had seatbelts on. There was oh four, four kids in the car. It's a good thing you guys went, showed up when you did. So, Ruby, do you think you're going to be going back to your husband? I just want husband? my children back. Yeah. I have a seat right here. I know you were talking to me about how you had a history about. Can you have your time? Yeah, but you guys never bring him to jail. And it's every time you guys never take him, and he talks such a. And I know I drink, I do, but I wasn't drinking and, and taking off and driving like, you know what? I know it's wrong still. I'm not excusing that. Sure, I understand but that. But what he does is so much worse. This is a copy of your charges. That's for you. You know, when you get in the next room, sit with the girls on the right and don't talk to the fellows on the left. Listen up for your name and don't get up without asking, all right? Go straight ahead. First row. On the right. And we'll see. I mean, she's got some pretty good charges, but she might be able to qualify for an OR. I don't know. I think she probably will, but she's actually lucky with her kids in the car. They could have charged her with more. They could have charged her with child, child endangerment. They didn't do that, so um, she kind of got lucky. Are you feeling a little bit better now that you slept it off a little bit? No? I feel fine. Feel fine? Mm -hmm. Well, that's good. So we just want to get you through this. As long as you don't, you know, I know you were agitated earlier, and hopefully you're not agitated now, and get you processed. And we can get you out of here, OK? You think you can do that? Great. Sarge, I think she'll be fine. She's also yeah. playing a little bit of denial. That's all right. Whatever works. All right, come on over here. You're going to sit with the girls on the right-hand side. Don't talk to the fellas. OK. We'll uh, give her a chance and just monitor her behavior out here. Yeah, I think she'll be okay now. She's sober up, reality is setting in, you know, thinking about everything. I think she'll be fine and be able to continue the process and go home. 